All right. Well, lots of stuff done this time in regards to movement. There were a lot of issues where you could get stuck on edges, especially on these stairs over here. I would walk off the edge right here and somehow um, I would get stuck and uh, just stuck forever. There's no way to get out of it. Um, so that's all fixed. That was, a, that was an issue in regards to the terrain height and movement in regards to that. So like basically uh, terrain height can now block the player, right? So I can't just walk up onto that step right there until I get to a right about there. This is the step height, right? You've got a certain amount of step height um, for your character and you can't walk off something that is super tall or um, walk up something that's super tall. Unless you're in god mode and then you can just fall off the edge and onto the ground. So this is like the actual ground level of the battlegrounds and then this is like way higher. And this is even higher way up here in these corners with these items. You're like falling way far. That's kind of fun to go into god mode and like play around with the physics and the, the height and the terrain height and all that. But it's really, really nice to be able to just walk smoothly up these stairs now. There were a lot there was more issues too. There was another issue where um where I was standing in a corner right here. I would start moving down to the left and then move directly down to the left, and the player would start bouncing, like bouncing to the left and creating this really weird look. Um, and that was just to do with pathfinding variables. This, so it's sort of, we have this sort of quasi pathfinding. Let's see, let's go over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I go into something like this and I walk straight at this pillar right here, the player is going to see how the player moved upward to get around that. That's because my last direction I moved up or down was up. And so it decided, Hey, I've ran into something right here. So let's move the player up to go around it. If I had my, if my last movement had been down and then I hit this, it would move me down around it. So it's kind of like pathfinding without actually running a pathfinding algorithm. It's just sort of like relying on the last direction that you, you were moving in. Um, so that's always been in place, but it's a lot better now. It's a lot more refined, it allows you to smoothly walk around these edges and stuff. The next thing I did was to make sure these teleports are a lot more, they feel better now. So basically it teleports you right in front it used to teleport you like accidentally off the side <laughs> and uh, that was funny but now they uh, they look a little bit better with these particles but they also kind of teleport you to the right position and also you can tell the camera moves but it moves really quickly so compared to regular movement as I move around it takes a second for the camera to move to my new position um, but with the teleport it actually moves a lot faster so that you can really see real fast There's still an issue here with these um, these these uh, voxels getting left behind and It's great that this teleport is actually revealing it. So hopefully I can fix that soon um, But yeah great to have these teleports and all the movement issues sorted out where you can just move pretty smoothly around this whole battlegrounds now uh, and then we've got stairs being rotated to the right angles so um, all the stairs in the whole battlegrounds are now rotated to the right angles they used to be all be rotated to the same one they're all like 90 right so these these didn't look right and um, lots of the stairs around the whole level just didn't look right at all but now they all got a nice slope in the direction of the staircase and uh, that's pretty satisfying so should we check out some code yeah Let's see. Um, this is more of the math to, for the stairs. Let's look at the movement. This is actually kind of I'm kind of proud of this. The movement system actually it's this function called move entity x y. There's two different move functions. One is for your x y movement. One's for your z movement. They're both they're handled in a different way. Z you can step up and down. X y is really just moving and colliding with stuff. So um, this used to be a lot, lot less organized right here we had three copies of the same code which was this function right here try move XY so I simplified it down to this this one function called try move which basically takes the current position of the player adds in some movement and then also gets the terrain pause at the edge of the players bounding box and um, that is what's used now for in this collides macro we use it for chesting um, the terrain height so it blocks a player as if it were colliding with something uh, but it's really just terrain height that it's colliding with so that's that
and that's a lot more organized and this it really the all the bugs I was talking about where you're getting stuck on things were had to do with pathfind this pathfind variable right here um, this needed to be the right sign right there that needed to be also be the right sign on the Y and then of course these terrain offsets were a huge part of making this right um, basically uh, like, what, like what I was just saying let's actually like see that visually um, about terrain height offsets so oh, wait wait looking for any one of these here male okay so here's the male model right and um, the offset let's add in a pixel where you can see or a voxel this is like about the middle of the model right um, so when the player is moving directly down Let's, let's draw in actually the bounding box. The bounding box, this is really janky and not exactly square, but that's what it kind of looks like, right? It's like a square surrounding the player. And um, when you're moving straight down, you need to test the point right here for the terrain height. And when you're moving down to the left, you need to test this point right here for the terrain height, right? And so on, around all the possible angles you might be walking at. And that's what this is doing, it's basically um, getting the right terrain offset for every single one of the vectors it could possibly use in this algorithm of movement on the XY plane. So there you have it. Um, this is like, oh gosh, I, I can't even imagine. Like, it's hard to describe how good this feels to now have this good this movement. Right, as a player, you expect this. You just you want your movement to be smooth along edges. You want everything to just like work right. You know, you don't want weird issues where you get stuck in the, on a staircase and you're just forever can't move. That's it's horrible, right? So it just feels really, really good to have the movement all tight now. And that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. hope this was of value to you. And I'll get you on the next video.